You know, I used to think I was tired of this, but for some reason, I just never get tired of it. You see, today is a very special day for you. Very special. Why? Because it's your last day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. It's, it's evening. It's actually your last evening. Mm. But that's besides the point. Today, I'm, I'm going to be treating you a little bit differently than uh, the others that I've liberated. I'm not going to be using any fancy tools or, you know, nothing like that. It's, it's going to be different. I'm going to show you some of the things that I love, so if you could stay with me for a few seconds and shut your fucking mouth. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, you have duct tape on your mouth. Um, then we're good to go. So... First things first, this is what I want you to do. I want you to convince me uh, why I should let you live. Go. Oh, that's right. You can't talk. <laughs> My bad. Let's try something else then. I just want you to think about something for a second and I want you to visualize as much as you possibly can, okay? I can see it. <laughs> You're going to be passing away today, isn't that crazy? Your entire life led up to this one moment. This is your purpose. Your purpose is for me. <laughs> that blows my mind, you know, to think that the universe gave me you. Isn't that fucking amazing? Let's start with something fun. And I'm going to remove this uh, because I'm getting a little toasty. So give me one second. Just, uh, just wait, please. Alrighty then. Before me here today, Your Honor, I've printed out a few documents. Um, some of my favorite memes. I just want you, when I show you these pictures, to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. I would appreciate that. I can tell by the look in your eyes that you're afraid. That's insane. It's cool because flight or fight kicks in when you're in a survival mode. But the fact of the matter is, is that you will not be surviving today. Isn't that crazy? So you might as well just save yourself the effort and uh, just fucking relax. So personally me, I'm a big fan of 9gag. Um, one of the finest provider of memes that this world has ever seen to fucking date. Cheers. And I printed out my favorite memes, so... And I'm gonna try not to laugh when I show them to you. I gotta see your reaction for this one. Uh, mm. It feels good knowing that I'm going to live today. You know, you know what that's like? To just know that I'm going to continue living beyond this day? Something that I have that you don't have. Just relax. I'm gonna put a knife in my knife so you can stab me. You stab. <laughs> this is me. This is you. Oh, please don't kill me. I'm a good person. <laughs> no, you're not. You're useless. I tell you what. If the next one doesn't kill you, um, I most certainly will. The next one is one of my personal favorites. It represents how I think you feel right now. Forever alone. <laughs> I was lonely once, but now I have company. Look, one more look. That's you. Don't kill me. You'll love the next one. Contain yourself. No, this one is Doge. This is... Excuse me. Excuse me. Doge. This is the meme that progressed society to the next level of humor. Disagree with me? Oh well. I'll stab you. <laughs> That's a joke. I'm not going to stab you. But I could if I wanted to. I could. Tell me what you think. Remember your childhood? I mean, remember it as much as you can because you won't be remembering anything soon enough. There's a show called SpongeBob. 
Now, I might be wrong, and correct me if I am. I think this one came out last week. I saw it on Google. <gasps> Look at that, SpongeBob. You know serial killers always get caught. Hmm. Don't be a bad person or you'll get got. That's interesting. I'm not going to get got for this because no one's going to know. All, all the walls are made out of concrete. And I got a wood chipper that actually has your name on it. That's the best part about all of it. And the best part is the wood chipper is hybrid. <gasps> if that isn't economic, I don't know what is. Oh, didn't like that one? It's okay. You're going to love this one. Troll face. <laughs> no, you're not liking that one, are you? Now, troll face changed the way that we saw the internet. The Battle of 1812 happened, and so you had England and you had America. And so troll face walked in and he said, well, I'm going to get you good. <laughs> troll face got him. <laughs> Stop looking at me like I'm crazy. I don't like that. You can do anything. You can look uncomfortable, but do not. Look at me like I am crazy. Because everything that I do is a form of liberation. Here come that boy. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> Why does he look like that? Why is he like this? <laughs> Why is a frog on a unicycle like that? I don't understand. It disappoints me that you're not laughing. <clears throat> you're probably thinking, wow, this guy's lost his mind. On the contrary, I actually just kind of found it. Hmm, huh. fancy that. <laughs> I'm actually a nice guy if you get to know me. Um, now, I know you didn't understand the whole meme thing, um, and you're probably a little bit confused, so let's be honest with each other. Let's introduce ourselves. My name's not actually Vincent. Um, I was lying to you. Uh, my name is Jeff. <coughs> I am so sorry about that. The look in your eyes tell me that's about two years too old, huh? That's interesting, because in two years, you're going to be two years too dead. <coughs> I apologize. Now, let's get back to the reason why we were here in the first place. Remember this. Um, maybe I'm a result of the way my mother treated me. You see, I never had a really good relationship with my mother. Would you mind if I tell you a little story? It'll be quick. I won't be taking much of your time. Trust me. I need my suit for this. It makes me feel a little more acceptable to society. Look, it's like Animal Crossing. Thank you for your patience. So, get this. I'm 11 years old. My mother wakes me up at 5 in the morning. She says, Joe, Let's go for a little walk. So she puts me in the car, we go for a drive. I look at her and I say, Mother, why are we driving when you said we'd be walking? And she said, well, Joe, sweetheart, we're driving to where we're walking. Okay. So we end up at a forest. We go on a little hike, maybe a mile or two. She shows me all the squirrels. She shows me the side of rocks that moss grows on just in case you get stuck out in the forest. So we get to a little campsite. She said, Joseph, Mama's going for a little piss. Mama goes for a piss. I wait five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, one hour, five hours. No sign of Mama. Next thing you know, it's a week. It's been two weeks. I was stuck in the forest for two weeks. I was forced to hunt down rabbits with a broken bottle that I found next to the fire pit. I got sick. I lost a lot of weight. I was malnourished. So get this. My mother, she comes back. She rides up in that old Toyota Corolla that she always drove. When she steps out of the car, she looks at me and I swear to God, she loved me more than she ever loved me ever before. It was a look in her eyes. She says, Joe, the world is a cruel and dark place. It'll chew you up and spit you out. You can't let anybody take advantage of you. So I'm gonna teach you a little lesson. She takes out a knife. She says, one day, Joe, you're gonna have to learn to pay it forward. You're gonna have to learn to pay it forward. You're gonna have to learn to pay it forward. <laughs> You're gonna have to learn to pay it forward. She grabs me by the shoulder, like this. <laughs> and, uh, 
I'm just joking. But really, um, I've been paying it forward ever since. <laughs> you know, I had a garden when I was young. There were weeds. What do you do with weeds? You kill them. You dig them out from the ground, from the root up. You're a weed in my garden. Latte, please. I think I just stabbed somebody to death upstairs with a knife. <laughs> <laughs>